I'm a detailed man, I'm a technical person, so I'm gonna get into some technical things, some math, about moving people in and out for mealtime on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Here we go. Hey there, this is Tom, Tom's Tech Show. Um, I do have another new channel, Tom's Talk Show, so you wanna dig into politics, uh, certain illnesses going around, things like that, whatever going on there, head over to that channel. There'll be a link in the description here to head on over there. That's more heavy hitting stuff. This is kind of my technical, you know, computer channel, uh, movie review channel, kind of things like that. So that's kind of what I do here. Um, if you want to go out and ahead and subscribe to that, uh, this channel. And go over to subscribe to my other channel. Subscribe to all channels. Just it doesn't cost you anything. Just go subscribe. Okay. So my previous Galactic Star Cruiser video for some reason exploded. And I don't know why. I'm just one guy. I'm a one guy shop. I sit here in my room. I've got my Buzz Lightyear collection here. Um and I just sit here and make videos. And uh, thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. That's, you know, starting, this is like year three, I believe. Um, we've actually moved from California to Florida during all this stuff. So uh, it's been pretty fun. And that's what I'm here to do is have fun and, you know, share information. All right. So uh, Galactic Star Cruiser, here we go. Now, the sample itinerary this is the question that came up in chat and it's like sample itinerary it says okay down here we'll chew down here at the bottom where there's their sample itinerary day two is breakfast from 7 8 a.m now does this mean that the uh cafeteria is only going to be open from 7 to 8 for breakfast i don't think so i mean normal uh cruise liners i've been on one cruise did not like it at all I prefer to just go sit somewhere and stay there and camp on the beach and meander around town. Um, we frequented uh, Cabo San Lucas for oh my gosh, 25 years, probably been there, you know, maybe 30 times or so for vacation. So that's kind of what I do over, you know, cruises. We did one, you know, Mexican Riviera cruise, which was. Which was okay, Maybe, you know, it was wasn't that great. I wasn't it wasn't enthused and, and excited and, and overjoyed by it. But anyway, I digress. So cruises, often you'll have either like more early dinner or late dinner. So not everybody seats and has dinner at the same time. Now whether they're going to do this on the Star Cruiser has yet to be seen. So if they do breakfast and you know say to be to be fair, let's say they're doing breakfast from seven to nine. I mean that would give them time once breakfast closes at nine, shut everything down, clear all tables, get everything clean, move everybody out, clear everything out, get set up for lunchtime. Um, although I don't even know that they're going to be feeding you lunch because they're saying go to lunch at the docking bay. So uh, you know how long breakfast is going to be is really. Uh, kind of up in the air, right? I mean, you arrive, their arrival's at 1 p.m., so they're skipping you on lunch. They're just giving you light refreshments. So they're really not feeding you much on this thing. But I don't think 7 to 8 is the only time they're going to have breakfast. I think it's going to be more like 7 to 9. So that's 20 or 2 hours. Okay, so that's the number that we need to know. Say we'll go with 2 hours. Okay, so... Then I look at the the table seating here. So there's this is supposedly the artist drawing rendering of the uh, eating area. This is not the cantina bar thing or anything. This is just the dining room. And that does not look like it holds that many people. So I kind of pulled and looked at this. It's like okay, I see here. There's uh, uh, like. Uh, what do we got here? We got like seats here. I don't know. Arrows. What am I doing? Here we go. Arrows. Let's turn the arrows off. No arrow. Okay. So we've got some seating areas here. Some seating areas here. Why are they? 
seating area is there. Seating area is over there. There's some seating areas along here. Some over here. Some over here. There's these ones in the middle, right? And I went through all those and I kind of counted them up. And there's not that many. So this picture that they're showing here, like this, from like this arrow's angle, like over over that angle right there. Because there's these first three tables right there. So this seems like their rendering is actually pretty accurate. So I counted all these tables up and there was like 28 tables. 28 little groupings of tables. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Right, some like the middle one's the captain's table, of course, um, and stuff. So I'm like, okay. So that's, you know, maybe how that lays out. So there might be, I'm figuring 30 tables. You know, some are not going to be full. Some are going to be, you know, maybe overflowing or whatever. Okay. So, fine. So, bring up a spreadsheet. So this is where we got to go to the spreadsheet. So, so if the system, if everything is full. So from the, the little drawing here, from the design here, I'm looking, okay, there's these are typical cabins. We've got captain's cabins. We've got first class cabins. If all the floors are the same, that ends up giving us standard cabins. There's 24. So that means there's three floors. That means there's 72. Uh, the galaxy class suite stupidity, I mean, suites, there are 12. So that gives us 36 of those. Okay. Now there's two per floor of the grand captain suites. So that's 114 rooms on board okay so if each one of those rooms is a group so everybody's going to go eat together and we have two hours to do it in so 120 minutes and we take and do some math we can have 30 groups seated at one time so we kind of multiply that out that gives you about 28 minutes to eat and get out. So seven to eight o'clock seems okay. This is if you're doing two hours. Okay, so now if we start putting in occupancy here, the standard cabin can hold five people. So that gets us 300, if this thing is maxed out full. The galaxy class suite is four people and the grand captain suite is eight people. So that's 552 people. So if everybody heads to the cafeteria area at the same time and you all get in a line, you have 4.6 minutes to get your food and sit down. So that is not a lot of time. So when you start at the beginning, if I don't know if there's going to be a buffet line that you just go grab whatever and go sit down. I don't think there would never be enough time for it to end up being like, you know, waiter or waitress service. I think it's going to be, you know, more like a quick, you know, a quick grab and go kind of thing like they have at some of the parks, a quick service kind of meal. So they'll probably have, you know, fancy eggs, fancy bacon, fancy, you know, Toast. I'm sure there won't be anything gluten-free or dairy-free uh, for people who like me who don't eat any of that stuff. So that kind of kicks me out right away. But so that leaves you 4.6 minutes to get through that and get sat down, and then you've got 28 minutes. Well, actually, the 4.6 minutes we would have to for seating, right? We would have to take because this is the total time you can be in the cafeteria. And we'd have to subtract the 4.6 minutes, and that leaves you 23.9 minutes sitting at the table to eat and get out. Now, some people are going to be more time, some people are going to be less time, and this is actually having it be at full capacity. So, the so really, you don't want it, if you're going to go, you don't want it to be full. You probably want it like, I don't know, three quarters full, maybe two thirds full, so that your meal time there isn't rushed, right? Or, and that also translates into all the other activities. Like, how are you going to get 552 people to do lightsaber training, to do bridge training, 
right? I mean, that's, I mean, the, these things also, you know, flow into that. So if we go to uh, wrong page, here we go. If we go back to the experience, right? We come down here to the timeline. So they have, uh, da, 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 they had some lightsaber training here. Lightsaber training, one to 130. So again, how many people are gonna be doing this at one time, right? I'm saying 30 people, right? 30, here there's 30 tables. So say there's only 10 stations to do lightsaber training. That's your whole group has to do all their lightsaber training in nine minutes if there's only 10 stations to do lightsaber training. I mean, granted, they're probably going to be doing lightsaber training all through the day, I would think, and you can just go kind of whenever you want. But still, it gets a little, you know, you have a big group. If everybody eats, right, they're going to want to go do lightsaber training. Okay, well, half of people go do lightsaber training? That's not, you're not, you know, you're going to want this thing to be, you know, only half full when you go. So there's just not a lot of time to do any of these things. I mean, thinking the uh, droid racing from 2.30 to 2.50, that's 40 minutes. That, no, that's 20 minutes. How are you going to do that? I mean, that's... I, if they're having... I guess they're going to be having droid racing on this day two... Droid racing is going to start at the beginning of the day. So at like 9 o'clock, droid racing starts, and you can go do your droid racing thing at any time during, you know, five different hours of the day. And you get your 20 minutes. So it's, yeah. it's going to be a logistical nightmare to get all these people in and out. And I know they're going to try and put some kind of flow to it, but, yeah, numbers are not good for eating. And they're gonna have to uh, do the seating for, because if you take 114 groups, if it's full, and you have all 114, you know, tables full, cabins full, and you divide that, that's 3.8 meal times. So that's four meal times. So you have to have four dinners at night if the thing is full and there's only 30 tables there, right? I mean, you'd need, what? Yeah, you need about 50 tables to have a, an early dinner and a late dinner set up. So, and that picture and that drawing does not show 50 tables. So I, I, I don't think they thought it through very well. <laughs> you know, after you put millions of dollars into something, I just don't, just does not seem, I mean, I'm just a guy with a spreadsheet doing some basic numbers. Now that's if, that these are numbers are if the whole thing is full, right? On those days when it's completely packed and that may not necessarily be, you know, max occupancy on, on every room. So that's gonna give you a little, little bit more time, but it, it doesn't look like there's enough time to feed people. And hopefully that doesn't end up being, being an issue. Even sending everybody over to, you know, the uh, launch bay, food at the launch bay, you know, you're, you're going to send everybody over there. And it doesn't say that it's going to be blocked out for the rest of the park. There's going to be all the people from the rest of the park in there as well. And now you're adding another, you know, potentially two, three hundred people coming over there at lunch to try and get. I mean, you're it's now you're there. They're say that on their list here for for lunch, they're saying eleven fifteen to eleven forty five. So they're giving you thirty minutes for lunch. Well, you dump several hundred people onto that line. That's going to be way longer than, than that amount of time. That's, it's, it's, it's not working out. Time, 
time and, and schedules and you know spreadsheets i'm the only guy with a spreadsheet and i already see that it's broken right okay well there we go what do you think are we you know do you think they have all their numbers right do you think that it's going to be they're going to be able to feed all these people uh, and and what about people with dietary needs with special you know diets who can't have dairy gluten peanuts wheat milk you know how are they going to eat is there a chef somewhere that's going to come out and make you something special i don't know my favorite chef at disneyland is retiring and i'm heartbroken about it but <sighs> But we're in Florida now, so we're I guess that's okay timing that we're not going to be there as much anymore. But anyway, what do you think about this thing? I mean, this Galactic Star Cruiser just seems to be again crashing and burning and crashing and burning. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for watching this and thanks everybody so much. I appreciate you subscribing. Thanks for getting this far into the video at the end. Appreciate everybody. Have a great day.